Hi guys, Wet Hair Dane here, and today I'm going to be making a start on the... Oh, I've got my towel as well. And I'm not making... Well, I don't know what I'm... It's it's haul time anyway. It is June haul. Dane reads. Uh, it's actually my birthday in six days, so we will see. Maybe I'll get more stuff for my birthday, who knows. Um, and I have some books that I got from the charity shops to show you. So I have the complete running and marathon book by DK. Uh, it's got lots of exercises, advice, um, all that stuff. It's actually got some marathon training programs and like a half marathon training program. Um, which And like a 10k training program, which I don't really need. Um, but yes, some pretty cool stuff in this. I will be learning some more about, you know, the science of running and all of that stuff uh, in this. I have got uh, Jill by Philip Larkin, uh, a novel. I didn't even know Larkin wrote novels. Um, I don't know what it's about. A subtle and moving account of a young English undergraduate from the provinces. Hmm. Uh, I got Maya Angelou, Even the Stars Look Lonesome. Um, I guess this is, it doesn't actually say, I think it might be a like, mini essays. Uh, it's certainly prose. I don't know whether it's fiction or non-fiction because it doesn't say <laughs> But yeah, I eventually want to read everything that uh, Maya Angelou wrote because you know, she's a boss bitch uh, I've got keep on running the highs and lows of a marathon addict by Phil Hewitt pretty much as it sounds uh, He's completed 25 marathons in conditions ranging from blistering heat to snow and ice um, 25 marathons actually isn't that much I mean, obviously, it's more than I've done, um, but like, there are people out there who've done hundreds of the things, you know? Uh, anyway, Great Apes by Will Self, more prose, I think. Well, it is prose, it looks like a novel. I actually thought it was a collection of essays again, so. Uh, anyway, Will Self is uh, another one of the authors I want to read everything by after I was introduced to him at university. We studied The Book of Dave. Uh, which my friend Dave Ford thinks might be about him. Um, and then I got Victory Frankel, Man's Search for Meaning. Um, and this is non-fiction, all about finding hope in adversity from a guy who survived the Holocaust. So, powerful stuff. And um, when I bought this from the charity shop, the shopkeeper was telling me how good it is. So, we'll take her word for it. Okay, I have a few books to haul for you. These are all charity shop jobbos. I should imagine these would be the last ones I'll get this month, so I'll probably film my outro as well. So I've got Troy by Stephen Fry. Um, not sure how I feel about this because the last time I read Stephen Fry, I read uh, The Ode Less Travelled, which was his book about um, poetry, and I really didn't like it. But I have enjoyed what I've read of his in the past. Um, speaking of poetry, I got Days Like These by Brian Bilston, an alternative guide to the year in 366 poems. Brian Bilston, um, like you'll have probably come across this stuff on Facebook, this is a poem he did in the shape of a tree. Um, he's, he gets fairly viral, you know, he gets a lot of shares. And for good reason, he's a good poet. Um, but also, he, um, he, he's like writing under a pseudonym as well. More poetry, I got With These Hands, a collection of work by Pam Ayres. Slowly but surely working my way through all of, all of Pam Ayres. Uh, I got Susan Hill, Mrs. De Winter, the sequel to Daphne de Maurier's Rebecca. I get on with Susan Hill sometimes, other times not so much. Um, but I did enjoy Rebecca. And actually, the edition of Rebecca that I read, the introduction of it was spoiled. Uh, the introduction of it spoiled the entire plot of the, the book. So... Maybe, um, maybe I'll get on better with Mr. De Winter when I actually don't know what to expect, you know? I've got some more Peter James, again, slowly but surely. Uh, this is Stop Them Dead, one of his Roy Grace novels. I don't know which book in the series. There are about 20, 30 of them now, and they've all got dead in the title. So they're all like, love you dead, leave you dead, picture you dead. So I can never remember which ones I've read and which ones I haven't. I actually had to get my phone out in the charity shop to check Goodreads, um, just to be sure on that. Um, and then I got The Cousins by Karen M. McManus, uh, author of One of Us Is Lying. I read One of Us Is Lying and One of Us Is Next. And possibly the other one too, you can play at that game or whatever it's called. I don't know, I don't think there's a thingy of it here. But anyway, two can keep a secret. Um, I read the first two of those books while I was in hospital. Um, because I had a, uh, basically I got sepsis because I couldn't get a doctor's appointment. And so what would have been a very easy, um, like very easy course of antibiotics turned into me almost dying not really almost dying but i did have to be kept in overnight and up for observation so uh yeah i read i read those two books then and uh they were all right so i'm going to keep going 
But yes, those are all of the books that I got in the month of June 2024. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments which of these books you've read, if any of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Peace out.